Hello everyone, Tavis Mitchell back here with another lab video. This is my Azure Active Directory lab. Working Azure on a daily basis on Azure Active Directory. Now it's intro ID. I'm going to walk you through it and showcase a little experience. So we're going to start off here, all right, in the Azure Active Directory portal. I'm going to go to users. All right, now we're going to create a user. Create a new user. So I already had some users pre configured. Okay. So, since we're doing the ABA thing, we're going to do, um, let's see. D. Jordan. Or D. Anthony Jordan. Okay, so I'll have a good adjustment and we'll make our own. This is where you can propagate the fields depending on what you want the name to be. If they're part of an organization, you can put their job title, company name, department. Okay, I'm going to leave this blank right now. Assignment, this is where you can assign the administrative unit, you can add the groups. I'm going to add this user to the group. All right. Do some of added to or remote desktop users. And then this is the NBA, the NBA list. Let me try to pre configure it. Next, what you want to create? Pre create. All right. Refresh. See the Anthony Jordan is now independent. Okay. So that's how you create a user. So let's go back out to the home. Okay. So this time we're going to go to the groups page. Alright. So let's go to the groups page. Alright, we're going to. See, we already have some groups pre configured that I already made. You have different types of groups. You have security group, Microsoft 365 group, and then you have a distribution group. Okay, distribution groups have to be, you have to do that inside of the Exchange Admin Center. But in the Active Directory, as your AD, you can use, for well now, Intro ID, you can use. Make 365 groups and security groups. So those are two we have some available here. Security, Microsoft 365. Go to a security group. We just want basic access. We just want to access set group. It's a security group. Alright. Give us your type of sign. That's good. Owner. Alright, let's run out of our users. We're going to run the owner. Select. Alright, members. Alright, we're going to add Anthony Jordan and uh, Charles Barkley. Okay, so we're going to select that. We've got some members and we've got an owner in our group. We're going to create that. Now, if we give it a refresh, there we go, text section. Okay, so this maybe shows you how to create a user, so you how to create a group. Okay, now we need to go over the roles. At the directory has, or intro ID now, has a lot of different roles that you can assign the users that will give them either read access or write access to particular applications inside of the Active Directory console as well as in your Azure Center. Okay. So you can see here's a lot of different, all of the different roles. It gives you the name of the role as well as a brief description of what the role does. Okay. So Cloud Application Administrator can create and manage all aspects of apps. Registration and Enterprise Apps. 
accept at price. Okay? And you can assign these jobs to whatever user or group you want to, but I get really familiar familiarize you with the different roles that are available. If you go look that up, I might add a link in the description for some more information on the roles. So Azure Azure AD by default or now Azure ID is pre-configured with security defaults. If you disable those security defaults, you can make what they call conditional access policies. I'm going to give you a little view on that and let you know how that works. So first, for the conditional access policy, you're going to go down here to Security Blade. We'll go to Conditional Access. Right. We have no policies already configured right now, so we're going to make a new one. I've already disabled the security defaults on my tenant, but remember, if you're going to be creating conditional access policies, you have to disable the security defaults. Okay, if you want a little video more in depth on that, leave a comment. I can go a little bit more in depth with conditional access policies. So, this is how you do it you just go manually test policy. Okay, you can sign up the users, sign up the groups. This is be all users, target reset, target resource, we're going to be targeting. All right, cloud apps, all cloud apps. All right, you can include or exclude what type of application you want to, I mean, what type of target resource you want to target. The conditions, so you got a user race. All right, the conditions. That you are going to assign to the conditional access policy. Configure user risk level needed for policies to be enforced. High, medium, or low. Okay. So a user risk, everyone, is that means that your information may have been compromised. That means that your information may have been found on the dark web. Somebody may have your information in your username. Assigning risk means that somebody try to log into your account, okay? They believe some, somebody has hit actively try to log into your account and uh, they may not believe that it's you, okay? We can go down here to grant. All right, you can decide what you, with this condition access policy, um, if you want to block or grant access to whatever you're giving them access to, require MFA, require authentication strength. Okay, we're gonna require MFA. Like I said, I don't want me to lock myself out. Let me assign this to a particular user. I'm going to assign it to Chris Paul. I'm going to assign it to the wrong way. I'm going to select that and create. And the policy. All right, let me go right to the policies. And as you see, there's my test policy right there. This is my access policy. Okay. All right, next, what I'm going to walk you through is so there are three types of ways that you can connect your devices to your Azure Active Directory. We have Azure AD Join, we have Azure AD Register Device, and then you have an Azure AD Hybrid Device. Okay, we're going to go ahead and Devices Blade. Once we get to the Device Blade, we're going to go ahead and All Devices. Uh, you see how I already have two devices already in my Azure, um, under my Devices Blade. One of them is Microsoft Intra Join, which means that you log in directly to Azure from the desktop, I mean from the computer or whatever Windows device that you're using, and it's synced in to your Azure Azure Directory. All right. Microsoft Azure Register device. Okay, that means that okay, you don't have all the permissions with it, but it's still um, being able, it's still being picked up inside of your your Azure devices uh, to 
Okay. Okay. So we're gonna click on this one. All right, it'll give you a brief information about the device. Okay. And the last type of device that you can have is a hybrid Azure AD Learning device. So that means that that device is a part of a on-prem server as well as a Azure, or as well as on so it's a member of on-prem and a member of Azure or Azure Payment. Okay. So it's both. It's hybrid going. So we got one intro going and we got one intro registered device. I'm going to walk out through that. If you want to know more about it, all right, so this one is um, enrolled in Intune. If you want to me to do a lab on my Intune, then leave a comment down below and I can get in, real into depth with Intune to show you a lot of neat things that you can do in Intune. Okay. I just want to show you these devices ways and the different type of ways that devices can be connected to Azure. The intro ID. Alright. We're going to go back out the home. So now I'm going to show y'all how MFA works. Okay. <clears throat> I have a Windows 10 computer that I already have joined to the Azure 10. Uh, log into a user here. All right, so we're going to get the Langway log into this computer right here. So we're going to set up MFA. All right, so once we get here, all right, uh, set this up to MFA mode. All right, the way, way. All right, all right, maybe I want to set up a different method. Next one of my choice is going to be phone. All right, let's get the phone. All right, I'm going to type my number in here. All right, go ahead and text the code. See my verification came up on my phone from Microsoft. Let's go ahead and type the code in. Okay, it's different, a lot of different messages in MFA, everyone. You can use authenticated app, you can use phone call, you can do phone text, you can do email. There's a lot of different ways you can set it in. In that face sync, and then we should be let in. Say something's verified. Your phone is really All right. Good. I can the way wait is registered. He's logged in. I set it up to change the password, so let's go ahead and change the way wait's password. All right, there we go. Actually, let's see what's All right, so once we're in, we're going to go ahead and set up a pin on it. All right. All right, get the pin set up. All right, all set. Methods. You want me to do uh, a lab on all of the MFAs? 
available with Azure and you want to get into that, you can comment down below and uh, get that done. So here I am, my man. Here's an application that I put down to the computer. This is Intel. I'm going to do the test. Okay. Alright, now the 365 suite. Alright, everything came in good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite a guest user. I'm going to invite a guest user to my Azure. I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to go ahead and use it. New user, let's set up new user and find external user. Alright, I'm going to do another one of my email addresses. Yeah, it's just like a regular user, guys. Just a, a guest user. Yeah, and roles, you can, you can give them whatever role you want them to have when they have access to it. Maybe you have someone outside of your organization that needs to come in and check a few logs or something like that. Okay, you can give them like global readers so they, so they can look at things, but they can't edit anything. Now that user will be able to log into a device just like any other user um, once I get him the right licenses. Okay. That's how you create a guest user. There's one last thing that I wanted to show everyone. Alright. We're going to go ahead to security. And there's a risky user section. Alright, this shows if anybody they feel like their account may have been compromised or something fishy going on with your account, it will show up in this section. Okay. When we go to users, okay. That's what I want to show you. So let's just go to the Wayne Wade because we just logged in as him. We'll go to his sign in logs. You can see all of his activity Microsoft Authentication, Microsoft Device Registration Client. That's what, that's what I was doing when I was setting up the MFA with him. All of that is logged right here in the sign-in logs, as well as audit logs. So it's tracking all of Dwayne Wade's activity. Okay. So it really goes into depth and this gives you information about what type of Windows Hello for Business. That's what I just set up. What type of activity is going on with the user, what the user has going on, when the user signed in, etc. So that's going to wrap up this lab, guys. When you learn more about Azure, more about Intro ID, um, comment down below, like, comment, subscribe. Got a lot more labs coming out soon, and uh, have a good day.